guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Just a quick little update today about some new information that did just drop because if you are unaware, E3 is going on right now for the Nintendo presentation and at the start of it we got a bit of information about Mew being in the brand new games and how to obtain it and anything like that. So I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and feelings on the whole situation because there's definitely a couple of negatives coming out of it. But anyway, if you guys are excited for this video, please do remember to drop a like down below. It really does help out the video, the channel, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope you guys enjoy. So starting things off, uh, how do you obtain Mew? Well, it's all to do with the Pokeball Plus. Now, if you don't know what Pokeball Plus is, there's a little bit of a description here for it. So it says, catch Pokemon like never before. The Pokeball Plus is a Pokeball shaped device that can be used to play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in place of your Joy-Con. Now, this is, I think, around $50 um, sale price. So that's kind of expensive, but it's pretty much the same price as a normal Joy-Con as well. It's just, I think you can only use this for the Pokemon games. Whether you can use it in the Generation 8 games as well, coming out in 2019, not sure about that, but so far, it's quite an expensive thing just for one game, well, two games, but you know what I mean. But anyway, it then goes on to say, you'll be able to throw Pokeballs in-game with a flick of your wrist. In addition to motion controls, the device lights up with a variety of colors, vibrates, and it plays sounds. With the Pokeball Plus, you can also take one of your favorite Pokemon from these games for a stroll as you go about your daily life in the real world. The Pokeball Plus even works as a Pokemon Go Plus when playing Pokemon Go. That's really useful if you do enjoy playing Pokemon Go a lot and you don't have the little Pokeball Plus thing. Uh, the Pokemon Go Plus thing is just like that thing that you put around your wrist and it just allows you to like spin Pokestops or catch Pokemon without you actually being on the app, which is really, really cool. Um, it, so it works like that, so that's really, really useful, but still, I think it's a little bit overpriced, the fact that you can only really play it for one game, which is a little bit annoying. I think around $35 would have been a good price. Joy-Con obviously is around $50, but you can play that with every single game. With this only being play playable with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, it kind of just draws it back a little bit but anyway on to the main course what you guys came to the video for so obviously it goes on to say mythical mew awaits the pokeball plus is not just a great way to control and interact with pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee it also contains a very special bonus tucked away inside the pokeball plus is the mythical pokemon mew and you'll be able to bring it from there into your version of the nintendo switch game where it could become a member of your team uh, Mew cannot be attained by any other means in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, making it an extraordinary treat uh, for owners of the Pokeball Plus everywhere. This is a problem because, first off, the, the, the demand for this Pokeball Plus is going to skyrocket. Like, everyone's wanna, going to want to buy it because everybody wants Mew. So they're going to have to make a lot because if they don't and they really underestimate how many people are going to want to buy this, that's going to leave a lot of unhappy people not being able to get it because it's saying that the only way to get Mew is through the Pokeball Plus. So you can't trade it between games. So if I had like a friend come over and I wanted, he needed the Mew for his Pokedex or something like that. So I wanted to trade him and I can't because you can't trade Mew any other way. You can only get it through the Pokeball Plus. So they're going to have to make a lot of these. And yeah, they are quite expensive at $50 a pop. But at the end of the day, it's the only way to get Mew. You're basically just paying $50 for Mew. And obviously, yeah, it's cool having a little Pokeball and stuff, but you, the main reason is you're playing, you're paying fifty dollars for Mew. That's kind of what's happening. So it kind of means that we're not getting an event for Mew now. Be being Mew is the only mythical Pokemon in, you know, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee because of the Kanto Pokemon. A lot of people were thinking it was going to be an event or something, maybe because mythical Pokemon are usually distributed through events, but that isn't the case anymore. The way to get Mew is through the Pokeball Plus, as we all know. Some other problems that might arise from this though is we all know the fact that you can trade from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. That's made very, very clear. Um, the only problem now though is the fact that Mew is not able to transfer from those games. I don't know about you, but I play Pokemon Go a lot, and if you do know, the research tasks have come out relatively recently, allowing us to actually get Mew in Pokemon Go. It was the mythical discovery thing. We had to do certain research tasks and, and do them all and complete all of like the different eight challenges, and then you were rewarded with Mew while being able to catch it, but you're pretty much always gonna catch it. Um, so pretty much everyone has Mew that plays Pokemon Go like quite a lot. Um, so the problem with that is that we can't actually trade Mew into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee from our own games because obviously the only way to get it is through the Pokeball Plus, which is a bit annoying to be fair because they made a whole big deal about being able to trade Pokemon with the whole like park and stuff like that. But does that mean that there's some other Pokemon that you can't trade across? Because 
I know we can trade Moltres because it was in the trailer, but do we, are we not allowed to trade Mewtwo across? I have a couple Mewtwo's that I wouldn't mind putting into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee from my Pokemon Go game. So does that mean I can't trade them? Like what other Pokemon does it mean you can't trade? Like version exclusives, can you not trade those? I don't know, it kind of defeats the objective for me. And it's a little bit annoying that it is kind of just paid to win. You know, you're basically spending $50 on Mew and of course, they also came out and confirmed that uh, there's the only way to catch Pokemon in this game is through motion control. So again, I guess that's another incentive to buy the Pokeball because you can't like click A to throw a Pokeball. You have to literally throw it every single time. Well, not literally, you know, don't throw your Pokeball at your screen, guys. That would not be a very good idea. But you know what I mean? It's just like another incentive to buy it. But I don't know how I feel about this. What do you guys feel about this? It's so cool that we are getting new in the game. I like, I look at the picture. It looks absolutely insane. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, and I, I feel like if if you can have it the pokeball at the start then maybe you can have mew through like the whole of the game like can you literally have mew at the start of the game wouldn't that be a little bit more broken or get a little bit more paid to win because you're going up against like brock and stuff and you just got a mew with like metronome and stuff like that it'd be crazy just i don't know just having your second pokemon with your starter it'd just be a mew it'd just be kind of insane but that's pretty much everything i want to talk about in this video what do you guys think about it are you, are you happy that you can obtain it through here would you rather have had an event because i know a lot of people won't be able to afford the pokeball plus as well and especially if it's not in demand when you finally get the money and it, you know it took you too long to save it or something like that and it's already gone like that's just gonna be super upsetting so i don't know how i feel about it but what do you guys think this is obviously a discussion video but that is everything for me though guys if you did enjoy please do remember to drop a like down below and my second channel twitter twitch instagram channel is called down patreon account will be found in the description down below that is everything for me, guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing rest of your day and until next time guys peace